No Hard Feelings is the newest Jennifer Lawrence movie where she plays a down on her luck girl where she's on the brink of losing her home till she finds this intriguing job listing from some very extreme helicopter parents who are trying to help their introverted son break out of his shell before he goes off to college and she's got one summer to make him a man. Now right off the bat, the premise of this movie seems like something that you would see in the early 2000s with like an American Pie or a Super Bad or a Role Models with that raunchy comedy feel. But it's been so long since we've had any success in that genre that I was honestly pretty skeptical like going into this movie. But honestly, I really enjoyed it and it far surpassed any expectations that I had. And honestly, I think a lot of that credit has to go to Jennifer Lawrence because she is such a high grade a-list actress that whenever she is in a role whether you like the movie or not i mean honestly it's been quite a while since i have liked a jennifer lawrence movie whether it's passengers mother don't look up all those movies miss the mark for me but whenever she is in a movie and in a role you believe her in that role so when she was in this raunchy comedic role her timing and the way she delivered these jokes all worked and honestly she did a fantastic job transitioning into this comedic role and I thought she was great. But also I want to give a lot of credit to Andrew Feldman as well. He played that nerdy awkward role opposite of Jennifer Lawrence and he did a fantastic job in that role. You totally believed him as that awkward introverted 19 year old who had no idea of anything Jennifer Lawrence was saying or insinuating throughout this movie and their dynamic worked really well there was one joke in this movie it was like a pepsi versus coke joke for me that one i loved because it was just so relatable but there were just so many got this entire film that really worked and had my wife dying laughing and i really honestly enjoyed the movie from start to finish as well overall is this movie going to be something that lands in my top 10 for the year no but is it something that you're going to be able to sit down and enjoy and laugh from start to finish Absolutely, yes. This movie, with its runtime being 110 minutes, feels very fast paced. It just has joke after joke after joke. You're never bored. And honestly, you're going to have a good time watching this film. So, my final score for No Hard Feelings is a 7 out of 10. Maybe not something I'm going to remember the most at the end of the year or be in my top 10 favorite movies of 2023, but something that you're going to be able to sit down and have a good time watching. So, have you seen No Hard Feelings or do you plan on watching No Hard Feelings? Comment down below. Let's start a conversation and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.